Big Rude Y'all. That was brought to you by the folks who brought you Is Your Mama a Mama? Yeah! So I've got a little something that comes from my quick tips file. Three things you should never do in a coffee shop. You should never spin wool. You should never Skype with your Spanish language partner. And you should never laugh too loudly at YouTube videos of corgis, then sigh and say, oh, corgis. <laughs> All right, for real this time, up next is Greg Weinger. Yeah, 
Uh, has Lonnie Anderson, who's just the hottest, hottest babe around. And everybody's wearing the polyester shirts down here, and which they needed for ventilation, but still, it's a carry chest everywhere. So fast forward to the mid-80s when uh, I start to sprout. And I'm on the swim team, by the way, so... Woo! For a second. Um, yeah! And it's, uh, you know, I have my mother telling me, you know, a hairy chest is a very sexy thing. Now, set aside the horror of my mother telling me it's sexy. <laughs> it's not true, Mom. You know, we got Michael Jackson and George Michael, and, you know, they're, they're, they're hairless. And so, you know, it was a tough thing, but, you know, like a lot of, uh, you know, oppressed uh, peoples, we kind of take ownership of the chest and flaunt it, and uh, that's a little bit like this next song. <laughs> This is a, a fellow whose, whose lover has left him. And uh, he's trying to woo her, woo her back by calling attention to his assets. <laughs> you have to tell me the word. I'm your hairy valentine. I work the internet assembly line and there is nothing half as fine as to be your hairy valentine. It was just last fall when you left this climb to seek your fortune in the shine and still in this furry breast of mine beats for you your hairy valentine. When this winter coat will hold, then we'll call the plumber, for my tub will overflow. I know friend, I don't fuss, but you don't see gals like you that much. And never before in all my time, you see one with such a hair. So, um, I've been going through some stuff, and, you know, I'm kind of confronting that, you know, that event that we all have to face one day, you know, it's the, you know, the, the chasm we all have to cross, and you don't know, you hear reports about what it's like on the other side, you don't know, nobody really knows until you cross it through yourself, and uh, I found solace, well, I'm talking about my, my 40th birthday, by the way, and, you know, can you believe people who crossed that path? Um, so, uh, so I go through the stuff, and I, I found solace in an unexpected place, one of the songs of my youth, and it, it kind of came about like this. Life is a mystery. Yes, yes, life is mysterious. Come on. Everyone must stand alone. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, that's really profound because you know, all this whole life I've built up for myself, you know, wife, kids, career, um, friends, and everything, it just falls away at the end and you face death alone. You seem to have thought this about this quite a bit. Please go on, Madonna. <laughs> I, I hear you call my name, and it feels like home. Oh, And it's not clear from the song whether you is God or your significant other or Madonna herself. Um, but it's just good music in its material world after all. When you call my name, it's like a little prayer. Down on my knees, I want to take you there. In the midnight hour, I can feel your power just like a prayer. You know I'll take you just like a prayer. Your voice can take me there like I'm used to be. You are a mystery, 
Just like a dream, you are not what you see. Just like a prayer, the voice can take me there. Just like a prayer, I'll take you there. It's like the muse to me. Just like a prayer, I'll take you there. Just like the muse to me. Just like a prayer, I'll take you there.